Okay, <clears throat> um, well that didn't take too long. Um, this is a first test drive. Um, I'm still working on the hydraulic lines. I think what I'm going to do is put them in the body. Um, but uh, this works really well. The um, After talking with Bob, this was not as hard as I thought it would be. You just carve out the uh, upper section right there. There's a little plastic right there and then your um, then your spring locks uh, work just fine. So um, pretty solid. Uh, once you've got the band put on there, uh, it's it's runs pretty solid. So um, hydraulic clearances for the 2017 looks like you'd have to um, <clears throat> you know it, you can see that it will rub a little groove into the uh, fender, which probably is a good idea. I think uh, down the road I'll probably remove the fender wells um, and also this front bumper. <clears throat> doesn't do much for the work that I'll be doing um, but you can see that that was my first test um, it's really strong um, I can put some downward pressure on there and uh, the four-wheel drive just kicks in it's got enough power the 420 is definitely enough power but there you go um, I got one battery that I had in a car and I just threw it in there um, probably go to a deep cycle Eventually, I think we'll also <clears throat> instructions say to uh, tie wrap the battery box to the back. But I think what I'll do is probably get a piece of wood <clears throat> and uh, tie it to the bottom to the back rack, and then put the battery box on there. It seems to slide around just a little bit. The um, the controls, the again the same thing. I'll probably run it inside the body, um, but that means taking this back section off um, and going from. Uh, and then being able to run everything underneath. I still have some splatter from the hydraulic fluid, but you can see uh, it's pretty straight uh, forward. The other challenges for the 2017 <clears throat> would uh, is of course the um, um, the front bumper clearance, but also I'm going to redo the uh, hydraulics. They're going over the uh, arm right now, <clears throat> which uh, prevents it from doing a full full lift even though I get pretty sufficient lift out of the uh, um, out of the controls right now so um, it's looking pretty good it's strong solid <clears throat> um, wild hair manufacturing did a nice job on the front end my next project will be to reroute the pipes uh, pipes uh, hydraulic lines and then um, go ahead and uh, clean it up just a little bit Take the, then I'll start on the auxiliary um, lines in the back and uh, go from there. But uh, very pleased, uh, the place on the bottom, um, locking it in, um, was, you can see I still got some, uh, some absorbent that I had to throw onto the uh, pedal because of the, uh, the, the hydraulic leak. But it's not na anything manufacturing wise, it was just... Uh, not checking all the bolts not so this is the maiden uh, run it's pretty solid and i'm just going to check all the bolts uh, the springs and everything else making sure that uh, the uh, atv is in good uh, running order here so um, that's it for day four um, and i'll uh, today what i'm going to do is get put the forks on and move everything back into my shop and then i start assembling all of the um, uh, implements so that uh, we can take a look at that also i've got a lot of work to do we just uh i'm going to be cutting a road through here so this wild hair is going to uh, help to um, clear a lot of what's going on in this uh, back lot here all right signing off for day four